Hey guys, what's up? I'm here at Samsung's Finest. Time for a review. Samsung really did a nice job on the phone. It comes complete in polycarbonate plastic. Yes, plastic. Honestly, I don't have a problem with it, but many do. One common complaint with plastic is that how the phone gets slippery if you have sweaty or greasy hands. I find it to have a very solid feel in one hand. It feels as if it's just meant for it, and Samsung designed it from the ground up to be held comfortably. One hand usability, however, is bad, but not as bad as other big phones. I could almost touch all, all four corners with one hand. On the front, the obvious feature is the big screen. It's very large. It's approximately 5 inches, and it's a good one too. It's a 1080 HD display with a pixel density of 441 ppi. The screen is sharp. With very accurate and vivid colors, it's excellent with pictures. You can't see any fuzziness at all, and text looks stunning. Along the side here, we have nothing but a power button. But here on the left side, we have a volume rocker. Here on the top, we have a 3.5mm headphone jack with an IR blaster. On the bottom here, we have a microphone and a micro USB port for charging. Besides the screen, on the front here, we have a 2 megapixel front-facing camera, and below it, we have the home button, with two capacitive touchscreen buttons on the either side. On the back here, we have a polycarbonate plastic finish, along with a 13 megapixel camera, flash, and on the bottom here, we have a speaker. I here had the US version when the quad core 1.9 gigahertz processor with 2 gigabytes of RAM. It's smooth and snappy, and one of the top performers. Here we have the Intucci benchmark. As you can see, it has a very respectable score ranking among the top. Camera quality is also a very nice feature of this phone. It has a 13 megapixel back camera with a flash. And on the front, it has a 2 megapixel camera perfect for those video chats. Overall, this phone is very good. With long lasting battery life and running Android 4.3, this is a hard phone not to consider when you're looking for something new. It has a new hand gestures and smart scroll. It's a, it's a very nice pe feature. I just don't see this becoming part of my routine when I pick up this phone. Thanks for watching. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. Next week, I'll have a review of the iPhone 5C.